Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Jean. My name is Jean Leggett, and I'm a CODA. My mom and my dad are deaf, so I decided I'm going to sign and cook at the same time. Tonight's supper will be chicken with spaghetti, broccoli, tomatoes, or tomato, 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 depending on where you're from. It's different regionally, from California to BC to Ontario. They all sign tomato different. So it's really interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead. I already pre-cooked the chicken in the microwave. Just put chicken in the deep covered baker by Pampered Chef, we'll call it PC for now. If we can Yum. It's really amazing that you can cook chicken in the microwave and it's juicy, it's delicious. Wow, really enjoy it. I'm just going to cut it up and then I'm going to put it in a bowl. Then we're going to start cooking the pasta. Yum, yum, yum. You can use chicken breasts or thighs, but they have to be boneless and skinless. Yum. These are called salad chop scissors from Pampered Chef. They have a lifetime guarantee. I love using that for a salad or cooked chicken, fruit. You can use it for different things. See? Nice and chopped up. missing something. Can I find it? Hmm. Okay. I want to keep all the juice in the chicken bowl. Now I'm really hungry. So the chicken, we're going to save it for later. I'm keeping it near you, but you have to promise not to eat it. It's right there. Okay. So next, we're going to put um, some lemon juice and broth. And then I decided to be a little bit crazy. I'm going to use a little bit of white wine. So we need three cups of broth. It's really supposed to be three and a half, but I decided we'll put half a cup of wine. We'll see. He's good. Okay. Now, I already measured all the spaghetti. Really, it's spaghetti, which is a little bit of a thinner noodle. I'm 
really want to break into thirds. So it's um, S. I measure, I have a, a scale and I measured it at 12 ounces exactly because you want to make sure that there's enough liquid to absorb in the noodle. Okay, now before I forget, we want to make sure we add the lemon juice. So, I want the lemon rind or zest. That's called a micro plane. You want to be careful when you're peeling citrus, lemons, orange, or grapefruit, or lime. When you peel, you don't go too close to the that if you that's bitter okay oh that smells nice keep that for later want to add the lemon juice that, not the other way, like that. Okay. One small, small lemon, not a big one. You don't want to overpower the flavor. Now that's finished. We're gonna put it in the microwave for about 12 to 15 minutes and it will be fully cooked. Sometimes I'm too strong. Okay. Second attempt. Okay. Next step. We're going to make parsley garlic, olive oil, mix, flavor. Come closer to see me. Okay. I'm using a manual food processor. I'm going to add the garlic. We love garlic, I love And also, vampires won't want to hang around you. If you use that garlic press, you can leave the skin on the garlic. It will come off. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. 
yeah. I love garlic. Next, parsley. I already washed that. Smells fresh like summertime. Understand when you go to a potluck and you bring that spaghetti with you from the garlic, parsley means in your teeth. Hello. Awesome. But people will be so in love with your food, they don't care. Now next I'm putting three tablespoons of olive oil. Hmm, forgot my measure. That's okay. Hold on. Do you know that many Italian women use olive oil on their skin? Keep healthy and young and less wrinkled. Okay. Now I will making it's called compound butter butter with garlic then you put it in the fridge cinnamon uh, different flavors of garlic put sun dried tomatoes or if you wanted to make really nice pasta sauce roast the tomato tomato for 20 minutes at 400 in the oven finish then let it cool a little bit put in that add basil wow wow better than a restaurant I'm going to add the, uh, the lemon now the zest I use all Pamper Chef products because I have lots in my kitchen and also I'm crazy about it. Perfect. Smells good. So now there's still eight minutes left so Maybe I can dance. There's no music. Always music in my head. Hmm. You know when you go on a date and you don't know what to say to your new sweetheart? It's a little bit awkward. Right now, it's a little bit awkward while we're waiting for the food to cook. So, you have to be patient with me. Hi. So we have that. When that's finished, oh, now I remember the rest of the recipe. I almost forgot. Now we have to 
cut the tomatoes. I already washed them. I'm going to see if you can see my new idea. If, if you have a bowl or a plate, two plates, tomato, another plate, use the um, bread knife to cut. Watch. I'm not perfect. Okay, next, broccoli. You have broccoli? Me too. It's good for iron. Okay. You want to use small. really nice from California. Okay. When the noodles is finished, I'm going to check right now. See if they need to um, stir. Fantastic. Still has to keep cooking, so just have to be patient with me. So a little bit about me. Right now I live in Ontario, just one hour north of Toronto. And finally today is April 5th. No more snow. Yay! Spring is here, finally! So, I don't know if it's still snowing where you are. Yes, no? Leave a comment. Still snowing, cloudy weather here, or yay, summertime is coming soon! So, I have to think of what to say to you while you're watching me. Yeah, the video, make it short, maybe. So, chicken, before I put the chicken in deep cover baker, I put uh, Greek seasoning, Greek, Greek, not Greek, that's Thai, this is Greek, Chinese, Japan, Italy, I think that's all that I know. Oh, um, this is Russia, uh, German. German, right? 
so. Hmm. Everyone always says, wow, I know a little bit of sign language. I know the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. But wait. Did I get that right? Maybe I'm drinking too much wine. Anyways, so all of the food things in the recipe, they're all healthy. Olive oil is a good oil for you. Your body needs some oil and not from french fries. So go ahead and use a good quality olive oil. Olive oil. That is extra virgin olive oil, E-D-O-O -O for short, parsley, good for you, broccoli, good for you, tomato, good for you, chicken, wonderful protein source, yeah. See, I made a little bit of a mess, but my husband will clean it up. If I made dinner, he will just clean it really hungry. Come on. You know that feeling? I don't even have a breadsticks. One more minute, I think it'll be done. I hope so. After when it's finished, we're going to add Parmesan cheese, make it gooey, then we're going to add parsley with minced garlic, then back, chicken, broccoli, tomato. I think next time I should start the video while it's already cooking. Four, three, two, one, finish. See, see. I think it needs to cook a little bit longer because I used the cold wine and cold broth to so take a little bit longer to heat. Okay. I went ahead and started cleaning while I had some time, so I cut the video so you didn't get bored of watching me clean. Perfect. Now we will add the cheese. Finish it. And parsley.
make sure you mix it really well as well. Beautiful. Next, tomato. Broccoli. And also chicken. microwave for two more minutes when we'll be done. Yay! Now it's almost time for supper. If you have any questions or you want to ask me to make something, I can try. I think next we'll be making chicken fajitas with homemade salsa. So, thank you for watching. I'm going to let that finish and then I'm going to eat so you can see for sure that it's good for you. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Finished. Finally, Yum. Whoops. Runaway broccoli. Hope you enjoyed watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.